First World War Tech Dreadnoughts British Admiral John Fisher, First Sea Lord, was the driving force behind the Dreadnought, a new type of warship that made all previous ships redundant. HMS Dreadnought was a revolutionary design and the first of its kind when it launched. Completed in 1906, the Dreadnought was heavily armed, with 10 powerful 12-inch or 305mm caliber guns capable of firing accurately at long distances. Previously, the Royal Navy had battleships armed with just four 12-inch guns, and Germany's equivalents had four 11-inch guns. The Dreadnoughts were much larger in appearance than their predecessors, due to the extra weight of the big guns and its armor plates. Yet its speed was superior, reaching a top speed of 22 knots. It was also the first major warship to be driven solely by steam turbines. The appearance of the Dreadnought sparked a naval arms race between Britain and Germany. Soon they would be competing to build more Dreadnoughts, and by 1914 the Royal Navy had 29 Dreadnoughts, while the Imperial German Navy had completed 17. During the First World War, naval engagements were rare, which was the opposite of what was predicted based on a recent event in naval history, the Battle of Tsushima, during the Russo-Japanese War of 1905. The Battle of Jutland in 1916 was the only major example, and even then sinkings were few and far between. Later in the war, a new type of dreadnought would come about, called the Super Dreadnought. The first of these, the Queen Elizabeth class, demonstrated superior firepower, protection and speed. Watch our other videos to learn more. Get your copy of Simple History World War I, available on Amazon now. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.